hello and welcome to my channel another beautiful day of interacting with you my lovely viewers and sharing with you some of the trending and interesting tiktok gist with that said let's dive straight in today's video now in this video a white lady admits hating black people after realizing that what she was feeling for a black sister in this story was actually internalized artism. now i have a couple of videos that are going to prove that palm color people are scared of us black people People, jealous and hate us because of the fear of what we can make them face the fear isn't even physical but mental fear because of what is in us and what they see us doing and how it challenges them now this is really an interesting video so i would advise that you stick around and watch every single bit of this video till the very end for now let's check out these videos i will be right back and when i get back we talk more about this issue so this lady asks this black lady um are white women really that scared of black women and i'm gonna say yes and this is my opinion as a white woman who is 53 years old and has lived in the south in georgia my entire life and but it is it's not being scared but it's a fear and it's not a physical fear it is the mental fear it is what we see in you and what we see you doing and how it challenges us and the fear of that so we see black women and we see how strong you are we see you coming together as a community we see you supporting each other we see you supporting your community supporting your families supporting your children going out and fighting fighting for your rights um being authentic in your race and in your femininity then anyway <laughs> um and we're jealous i think we're jealous because we would love to be that i think and we don't know how to break out of the indoctrination that we have been suppressed by our entire lives and i'm not giving white women a pass don't get me wrong but i know i and many many most women have been told our white women have been told our entire lives be quiet know your place be a good girl um don't rock the boat don't be too much and when you are any of those things you are ostracized because you have rocked their boat and that is what black women are you rock our boat our mental boat because you challenge us to look at how we are deficient and not living in our truth and it makes us uncomfortable and people don't like to be uncomfortable and it makes us start to question ourselves and people don't like to question themselves we would rather live in our little bubble of white supremacy and what we know and comfortable this and that's not a word then a lot of a lot of people would white women would rather than challenge themselves to grow and know more because it's easy doing the work is hard it's really hard i've been doing the work the past several years and it's hard it's hard admitting some truths about yourself and some truths about yourself as a white woman so yeah I think that white women are scared of black women because you challenge us in that way and a lot of us don't like it and that's why we fear you is because we fear what you make us face i have a theory about why black women and white women are having such a hard time getting along and it starts with a story when i first started teaching i was in a teacher training program with three other women two of them were black and one of them was indian and we started teaching at the same school the same grade at the same time one of these women, a black woman, completely excelled. She did so much better than I did at literally everything. Classroom management, her test scores were high. She was excellent at literally everything. And something about her excellence didn't sit right with me. I just didn't feel good about it and I couldn't figure out why I didn't feel good about it. It was internalized racism, but I didn't know that yet. So I had to sit with this idea of her being better than me and trying to figure out why it didn't feel good and feel comfortable for me. 
And of course, at the time, I didn't know that I needed to do the work of anti-racism, so I didn't think it was possibly because I could have internalized racism. I had to do a lot of study and thought about myself and what could possibly be making me feel this way about this woman. And here's what I discovered. Most of the media that I had consumed up to that point in my life had white people as the central characters. And the shows and, and other media that I consumed that had white women at the central characters often had black women as the side characters. These black women's role in these movies was to assist the white women, support the white women, advise the white women, but never to rise above the white women. Even shows that were about black women, like The Help, had white women as the central character and the black women as supporting characters. So I internalized the idea that black women were there to support me and to advise me, but not to rise above or become better than me. And that's why when this black teacher was way better and more talented than me, I felt some kind of way about it. Now, I'd imagine lots and lots more white women have also internalized the same idea, and that's why they feel okay stealing black women's content and not giving them any credit because the black women are just there to advise them anyway. But most black women are natural leaders. Society has forced them to become leaders. And so we need to step aside and let them lead. Even if it means checking our privilege and letting them lead us. So I think we should all as white women just admit we're jealous of black women's hair. Now I stopped saying we should all do this, we should all do that somewhere around high school or college because I apparently am not the norm. Um, later in life found out I was autistic so I apparently think about things differently. But I have always loved their hair and hated my own. And I think that a lot of this appropriative box braids, other than clout chasing and rage farming, because people do stupid shit for views, but I think a lot of it, and the reason white women get so bad out of shape, you're just jealous that their hair looks better than ours. That's why it's discriminated against, is because they have something we don't, and we just can't handle that, can we? Can we just admit we're jealous and stop with the bullshit and nonsense and just let them have their hair and shut up about it? Because that'd be awesome. Was the question, why do white people hate black people so much? I have been in situations where I've been surrounded by nothing but white people and this conversation has come up. The race conversation has come up. And no one ever has an actual reason as to why they hate black people. There's always these, oh, black on black crime. Oh, they're lazy. Oh, they're this. But it's not actually, there's no legitimacy behind their reasoning. It's just shit that they've heard and they're regurgitating. And so, long story short, it really comes down to there is no reason. It's a deep-seated jealousy, a deep-seated hate that, you know, black people exude greatness. Black people are the great inventors. Black people are the beginning of the human race, the Eve gene. And white people have worked so hard to erase the history and erase the greatness of the black race down to even when things are invented, the majority of things that are invented were invented by a black person. But yet the white race has actually erased the original inventor from history and have put their names on things that they had no business putting their names on. Now, many white women feel insecure around black women, and it is one of the reasons that the two sometimes do not get along. Now, this is not a topic that is often talked about, but in reality, its origins lie in 
patriarchy. Now, palm color women have always felt a sense of envy to black women. Firstly, white people's fearful reactions to us black people is itself a means of dictating who gets to feel comfortable in a public space. Now, in a 2004 study, um, on american men's experience of being feared in public spaces researcher kristen day found a, a stark difference in responses from white men and black men while a few white men said they were not aware of ever being feared by others as they moved through a public space no black and hispanic responded uh, respondent was able to say the same now that there, there is no denying the fact that no matter your racial identity being a woman in the workplace is tough the fact of the matter is uh, though being a black woman in the workplace is even tougher now why because not only are black women subjected to gender div uh, driven microaggressions they are also being subjected to racial ones now a discussion that has gained uh, more attention over quite some time now of the black lives matter movement is is that white women uh, despite belonging to a widely marginalized gender group are also often marginalizes themselves in their uh, continual reticence and apathy towards the fight for black female equality now from from being more likely to face uh, occupational segregation to earning less than white women black women specifically on average in 39 percent less black female professionals are facing discrimination for both their race and gender and given how widespread the problem is the chances that people have been part of this uh, discrimination are very high now we have seen most black women complaining especially in workplaces palm color people normally feel intimidated by black women and maybe it's because of their system how they were raised and what they were taught when growing up when they see a black woman doing better than them they seem not to know how to handle it why because they were taught uh they were taught that always always all the time white should be on top like it should always be better and always black should be below now while no one has a precise prescription for how to eradicate eradicate uh racial injustice in the workplace i firmly believe that um, a critical first step is embracing the difficult conversations and uncomfortable truth that um we we've become too accustomed to avoiding let's now take a look at how people reacted to this in the comments now the first comment reads finally some raw honesty i've always known they were jealous of us it's always about fear there is no rational reason for artism. it's just fear people always hate what they fear inferiority complex jealousy envy wanna be us now this is a question they have to debate among us themselves it's not for us to debate and answer we should watch the debate with popcorn this one says according to my understanding i love when they hate us simply uh, well i i love when they are simply hate us it simply means they really know who we are and they can't stand the truth okay now these were just a few comments i picked at random and we are just seeing how people are commenting and reacting to the videos now having watched the videos what do you have to say about this issue kindly share your thoughts in the comment section from it's a bye bye and see you in my next video as i bring you yet another another interesting video